I wanted to talk about the most gruesome murder that I know of that Cecilia Stein and her group had committed. Now, this is going to be a very sensitive topic, and as a sensitive person, I still I still find it very hard to think about, to remember, and even to talk about. I have. I'm, I'm fairly good at keeping my emotions at bay when it comes to talking about serious topics like this because I need to talk about it and if I start crying, obviously I will not be able to talk about it. Uh, and I, I know at times I've also become quite good at completely neutralizing myself. I mean, I, I think I basically have to. If I feel even somewhat sad, it's going to start affecting what I need to relate. But when I keep having to talk about a certain topic or even just about specific things uh, regarding the Kruger's Dog Killers and other things that I know of and that have happened in my life, it becomes quite impossible to actually ignore the emotions that come up at all. Um, as it is, I can already feel I'm fighting to uh, hold tears at bay and a lump in my throat. But I know I want to speak up for all the victims. I feel that they need a voice. Um, and there was too many murders that were not accounted for during the trial simply because like I've mentioned quite a few times uh, in social media at least and on my website it's because there were yeah after two years of investigation there was already a count of over, over 40 murders and the investigation carried on another two years after that and when I spoke to the investigators as to why they were only going to target 11 murders in the trial, it was just simply put that if they have to cover every single murder that they have evidence on, the trial will possibly never end. And it is vitally important that this group gets sent away for life and no one else gets hurt. I completely understand that logic. And at the same time, I also do feel it's unfair uh, for the victims and the victims' families and friends for, you know, the, the, the victims that were not mentioned during trial. But I can't and couldn't change their decision. So I felt, and I probably will mention other murders, but the one I wanted to talk about was the most gruesome, the most sadistic murder. Um, now, before I actually relate it, I can definitely say that when I heard about it, when I was told every intense graphic detail, I wasn't surprised in the least bit because these exact details well, my heart is racing so fast. Um, these exact details were related to me while I was best friends with Cecilia. And not just once, it was a couple of times. And each time she would swear it off to being the scenario, the typical scenario that the occult had forced her to kill people. It was either for a tribute or... It was during a ritual. It was always it was always some reason uh, regarding the occult, and she would often go into extensive detail about how these people were killed. And with this one specific murder, she she was outright bragging about it. She it was like a trophy murder for her, um, for someone who had committed murders in the past because of because supposedly because of a, a cult should I say and wanted to 
apparently leave the occult and was apparently fearing for her life because of the occult. Why did she look like she was so fond of all the murders that she actually related and especially this one in specific? She was Ah, uh, she, she was excited, she was overzealous, she was outright bragging, and when I say it was a trophy murder for her, I would not be wrong in saying that, because it was, for someone who is so sadistic and twisted in their mind, um, this murder fits it perfectly, it, it was beyond words, um, so, when I relate this murder to you now, the one that was found during investigation, I do not know the names, but there were several people as well as a child. Um, and I don't know if it was Miranda or John, uh, not John, I don't know if it was Miranda or Zach Valentine, but I'm assuming that it was probably at least the two of them and possibly, you know, one or two others because there was at least three or four adults plus a child. And, um, okay, hold on, I need to take a breather. Okay, so just brace yourself. Um, this is worse than you can literally imagine. So... With this one murder in specific, I never heard of Cecilia orchestrating this murder because of money. So, with the way it was done, it was uh, to the extreme of an overkill. Uh, so, my guess is, and more than likely I would be 100% right in saying, is that it was for revenge because that's why overkills happened. But the scenario goes that Cecilia's group broke into this into this house and they tied up all the adults. And um, as I relate this, I will explain as well why each of it was done, each part of this murder was done, because this is what Cecilia had told me quite a few times in the supposed or more than likely were actually real murders that she had done in the past before. But um, so they, they tied up all the adults and the theory that was behind this was to see in which way each person would finally die, which method of torture would finally kill the person. This is pure sadistic. Now this ranged from strangling the people until they would become unconscious and then revive them again. And repeated a few times. Then they would cut the people, they would do numerous things. The ultimate worst part, as if it wasn't bad enough, um, is that they would they would cut off each person's limb, arm for arm, leg by leg, and they would beat the person with their own arms and their own legs while these people were still alive. And um, eventually, eventually these people died having bled to death. But after having gone through this excruciating torture, um, having been strangled repetitively, having been cut, having been beaten, having had numerous torture methods used on them, to then have their limbs severed and being beaten with their own limbs until they finally died. 
And to add to this, one if not two of those people were the parents of the child who was, I think, four or five years old. I could be wrong on the age, but the child was exceptionally young. And the child, had, the child was forced to watch this entire time. This child was watching its parents being brutally tortured and murdered. And once these people had finally died, they took the child and filled up a bath full, full of water. And then they drowned the child. Now, it, th this murder was not surprising in the least, but purely because this is, what some, this is something that Cecilia had supposedly done or had done numerous times in the past before I had met her, supposedly because of the occult, supposedly because she was forced to do it and she didn't want to do it. But she had no choice in her past. So even as even though it wasn't surprising for me to hear these these facts um, and that they were solidly tied to Cecilia's group, um, it doesn't take away the the devastation, the indescribable I don't even know if there's a word for it. Um, as just pure evil, as if the murders that the world knows about right now wasn't bad enough, these murders are far worse, they were murders that were far worse than what the world knows, and this is one of the reasons why I feel a need for people to know the full truth. To give voices to those poor victims, to speak up for them, to give them some kind of justice. Because they didn't get justice even in high court. Yes, for a, a valid reason, but I still, I still feel they need a voice. So, and I don't know if the families or the friends of these people will ever hear this audio or read this portion in my book when I mention this murder and possibly tie it up with a murder that they know of but I hope in one way it will I can't even hope to make a positive effect in this because how can you make a positive effect these people were brutally murdered I don't think there's anything positive that can be there is there is nothing that can help basically to ease the pain or to serve justice or anything of the sort but this is how the mind of Cecilia Stain went how it operated how sick and twisted and sadistic it truly is and during the trial to watch her on stand to lie so blatantly to appear so innocent the same kind of lies and the same kind of innocent appearance that I had witnessed during the years that I was best friends with her trying to fool the world except the difference was this time there was hardcore facts that she couldn't run away from, at least. And I know I was so relieved that you know, she was sentenced for numerous lifetimes because I was paranoid that even if her group was sentenced, that she would still be set free. My mission, honestly, in helping with the investigation once I was tied in was to get Cecilia Stain locked up. It wasn't to 
I wasn't aiming for the others as much as Cecilia, because without Cecilia, the others had no commander-in-chief, basically. They were useless. What Cecilia said goes. And even though her group would be the ones to have orchestrated, ugh, not orchestrated, the, even though her group would have been the ones to have carried out every single one of these murders because she would not get her hands dirty, if you want to put it so lightly, but Cecilia Stain ran everything. Everyone reported to her. Everything operated and happened because she said so. And even if someone came up with an idea for whatever it was, they had to run it by Cecilia first, and she had to say yes or no. Without her yes or no, it would or would not happen. At the end of the day, she controlled absolutely everything. And with this specific, extremely sadistic murder that I have related now, I can tell you now it was definitely 100% Cecilia Stain's idea. She, I mean, she had related it to me so many times. And I don't know how many people on this planet would even think of going that far. I mean, yes, Miranda has surprised me extensively in what she's capable of doing and has done. But, again, she would not have been... She would not have done it if Cecilia did not say do it. The same for Zach, LaRue, Marcel, John Barnard, and so on. Cecilia ran everything, and because she already had all of this planned out, having related it to me while I was best friends with her, you know, if she hadn't, the thought crosses my mind now, if she hadn't already done murders, in this type of sadistic way before. The way in which she spoke about it, the number of times she spoke about it, it's almost as if she was waiting for the moment that she could actually do it. And that, I don't know if that scares me even more, that she already plans things like this long in advance. And... There seems to honestly be no limit to how sadistic, twisted and evil her mind gets.